What's up? I'm Maddie from Memphis Mayfire. And I'm Jake. And you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. Yeah, I'm second day of the Slam Dunk Tour. How are you doing? That was yesterday. It was really good. It was really fun. Uh, it's cool to be out here with lots of friends. The weather's really great. And the show is awesome. Yeah, you said the sun is, is burning hot, but dude, it's, it's awesome out there. This it is, is really exactly good. the kind of weather we look forward to. Yeah. But as a fellow redhead, do you, <laughs> do you fear the you know sun's what? power? I used to. I think I beat it on Warped Tour. Yeah. Right? It's so bad. I think I did. I've always feared the worst, but I, I think it's my skin just gets pink and like a little greasier for some reason, um, and then it falls off and then it comes back, and that's just the worst that can happen. So I'm like a like a snake, just peel and then, I'm, and then it's better. So you get away with it a lot more than yeah, yeah, for sure, I do. So. Um, which bands have you been checking out? Um, well, yesterday, which bands did you sort of check out once you've done with your set? We always catch our buds in Sleeping with Sirens every day. Yep. Um, I got to watch Hands Like Houses for the first time, that was cool. Yeah. Great. How big were their actual hands? <laughs> <laughs> Was uh, like houses. Wow. Yeah, they are about houses. Like houses. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Is no, they're good. Yeah. Um, which of the bands you've been seeing? I saw Tonight Alive. I know you did. Oh yeah, we watched Tonight Alive for a little bit. Yeah. Um, I'm, I know I watched a few songs from uh, We Are the Ocean. That was cool. I heard a lot of good things about them. So check them out. Um, Pierce the Veil. I watched their entire set. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Those are good dudes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, do you have, about it yeah, yeah, do you have like a mental checklist yeah, that you so different, like, try and on, achieve you know, before the end of this year? Usually Something. for the first few days, the press keeps us pretty busy and, uh, you know, just walking around and seeing for old friends we haven't seen in a while. So the last day or the last two days is when I try to go check out all the bands that I really wanted to yeah, see. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. <laughs> so, like, uh, what time will you be on stage today? 8.40. Oh, my oh, right, so you've got that. Not time to kill, but yeah, we pretty much have the whole the day to see bands, and then we're uh, second to last on our stage. So yeah. pretty much by the time we play and pack up, show's over already. Cool. Have you been seeing like similar faces so up here before? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 So so many uh, so many familiar faces. It feels good for sure. Cool. Um, the UK generally knows nothing about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> How would you sum up the sport to uh, in layman's terms? Uh, neither of us are super huge basketball fans, I guess. So I'm, I don't know. We're the wrong. We're the wrong dudes to ask. We're with you guys. I would say to sum it up, it's a lot cooler to be in a band that's playing slam dunk than to actually be able to slam dunk. Yeah, it's not even honest. In real basketball. Jack <laughs> Barkat helpfully pointed out the technical difficulty, which doesn't exist. I love it. It's just like so. It's basketball. Yeah, but I've never like. I mean, we know that there's a American football and basketball. Is it kind of you pick one or the other when you were in high school? Um, no, I mean, I actually used to be into sports a lot. I played basketball more than football, but um, I don't think it's so much you have to pick one or the other. I mean, I guess if you're trying to be on, like, the high school team or something, then, then yeah, but... Have you ever done a slam No, I'm too small. We're both pretty tiny. I just... I just picked a microphone in women's jeans. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, what's, uh, the, yeah. Yeah. so what's the plans for the rest of the year? Quite a lofty uh, question, but uh, do you have plans to come back to the UK soon? Or? Yep. Uh, Warp Tour UK. Right. Mm -hmm. We're going to do Warp Tour in America and then come back over for Warp Tour UK. We're going to do another record. And then the new year starts and we're not allowed to tell you about that. Oh, right. <laughs> the future is unwritten. Yep. So, um, do you, I mean, uh, at Memphis Mayfire, the kind of band right on the road, or do you kind of just leave it to the last minute, like an essay? And, you know, really, you Most know, of the instrumental stuff, uh, our guitarist Kellen is writing when we're on the road, and um, when it comes down to it, I like to I like to knock out the majority of vocals about a month beforehand, before we go into the studio, and then I like to write when we're in the studio as well. <laughs> I don't like to overthink or overanalyze anything. I feel like that's when stuff starts to become, you know, uh, not passionate anymore. So, uh, but you know, I'll always be taking down stuff in notepads on my iPhone on tour if I have like good, like one liner idea that I can build a song around. And, you know. Cool. Sounds good. It's a lot of bands just sit and just watch. You know, you can either use your time productively on the road 
or you can, or you can you know, be a good student of rock and uh, Absolutely. do you work on time so and get True. an A plus from sure. I don't know, some mythical teacher I can't think of right now. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, enjoy the rest of the day and uh, we'll, we'll hopefully see you uh, at uh, Whoops in uh, November, I think. Yes, and, uh, sir. Yeah, so enjoy the rest of the time in the UK. Thank you so much, Be careful in the sun.